हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश दैवड़ी कॉलेज दैवड़ी आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर अरुण कट्टे वी शैल डिस्कस अबाउट एलिजाबेथन पोएट्री एलिजाबेथन पोएट्री इज रिटर्न ड्यूरिंग द एज ऑफ ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथ एंड क्वीन एलिजाबेथ रेन ड्यूरिंग फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी एट टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड थ्री दिस एज इज द ग्रेट एज ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर द लिटरेचर फ्लरिश इन दिस पीरियड इट इज द एज ऑफ क्वीन एलिजाबेथ एंड शेयर द लिटरेचर फ्लरिश इन द फील्ड ऑफ ड्रामा एंड पोएट्री many poets and dramatist came in the court of queen elizabeth queen elizabeth gave shelter to them and drama and poetry flourished during this period many poets wrote lyrical poems so this court of queen elizabeth is known as the nest of singing birds this age is also called after a great literary figure william shakespeare who dominated this period in this period all types of poetry were written there were lyrics sonnet songs satires the lyrics of this period are the glory of this age the many sweet songs were written and published by the poet during this period then the love was the major theme of the lyrical poetry they expresses the various ways ways the elizabethan sonnet is also the one of the important type in this poetry thomas watt and suri bought <coughs> brought this type of uh, uh, this sort of poetry from italy to england and they made some changes the original form was in petrarchan form sonnet is a poem of 14 lines in petrarchan form 14 lines are divided into two stanzas first stanza contains eight lines and it is called octave and second stanza contains six lines it is called a sestet this type of poetry started and practiced by many poets during this period particularly this type of poetry is written in iambic pentameter after then william shakespeare he made some changes in the structure of the sonnet instead of two stanzas he made three stanzas of a four lines each and concluding couplet so this structure or this type of sonnet is called after his name shakespearean sonnet or it is also known as elizabethan sonnet then songs songs became very popular during this age the theme of songs that is love songs religious songs patriotic songs <coughs> war songs philosophical songs were written during this period they carried every mood 
द मूड ऑफ ग्रेव रोमांस सेंटिमेंटल मॉकिंग एक्सेट्रा द लव इज द मेन थीम ऑफ द सॉन्ग्स जॉय सारो प्रेज ऑफ वाइन चाइल्डहुड एंड नेचर आर ऑल्सो द अदर थीम्स ऑफ द सॉन्ग then pastoral poetry in this day, in this age the pastoral poetry was also written pastor pastor means to graze the sheep and the person who grazes the sheep is known as a shepherd so it is called the shepherd song in pastoral poetry shepherd weeps over the death of his fellow shepherd a setting of pastoral poetry is the village life and images used in this type of poetry are sheep shepherds flowers and rural life this form became very popular in elizabethan age then satire is also one of the form which developed during this period it grew and flourished in this it grows and flourished in this era humor wit and ironical descriptions have made it popular and classical then another epic poetry epic and religious poetry became popular during this age the epic and religious poetry flourished in this era of queen elizabeth the great poet edmund spenser who wrote romantic epic fairy queen in this age we shall <coughs> we see the variety of poetical forms in this period in this variety of <coughs> forms poetical forms elizabethan age witnessed all the varieties of poetical forms we find sonnets lyrics songs etc sonnets traveled from italy to <coughs> england then it was refined by william shakespeare and it gave the new structure thomas champion a famous lyric poet wrote over 100 lute songs and it was the generic form of music shakespeare wrote many songs and sonnets his songs are inserted in his plays particularly comedies so variety of poetical forms was used in elizabethan era the use of a metaphors repetition pun paradoxes these <coughs> these things or these are the figure of speech we found in elizabethan poetry the use of a metaphors as well as the pun and <coughs> paradoxes similes these are the typical characteristics of elizabethan poetry the poets make use of metaphor to compare women and the beauty then repetition is used to develop the theme of poem paradoxes paradox is used to focus on the importance of opposites and 
Shakespearean sonnets became popular because <coughs> because of metaphor and the a uh, pun. The theme of romances and country love is also remarkable in this period. Sydney and <coughs> other poets like Marlowe, Spencer, Shakespeare, they wrote sonnet sequences. Sydney's Astrophel and Stella, Spencer's Amorati. Marlowe's Hero and Leander and Shakespearean Shakespeare's sonnets became very popular during this period. Patriotism is also noticeable in this age. William Warner, Samuel Daniel, and Michael Drayton became popular writing this type of <coughs> uh, this type of form. Then Elizabethan sonnet. Elizabethan sonnet is also when Thomas Watt and Surrey they brought sonnet from Italy to England. It was originally in Petrarchan form. Sonnet is the poem of fourteen lines. And in Petrarchan form, they are divided. The poem is divided into two stanzas. First stanza of eight lines, and second stanza of seven lines, uh, six lines. And first stanza is called octave. Second is called sestet. Thomas Watt and Surrey gave new shape to the theme uh, to the. This a form of sonnet, and they made it a totally English. Shakespeare made the structure, uh, changed, changed the structure, and he gave a new structure to this form of poetry. Okay, <coughs> we shall stop here. We shall continue next period.